Okay. This is an electronic cricket. I built this, oh, I think 1980, thereabouts. Um, it was one of the first projects I made that had more than one integrated circuit chip. Um, I guess in a fit of boredom, made this. Uh, it's sitting on top of this empty cigarette pack because it's very difficult to hear without some sort of soundboard. And as it turns out, these work fairly well for the frequencies involved. Runs on a 9 volt battery. Um, as I said, three integrated circuits. It's actually got a couple of, uh, actually three uh, adjustments on it. Um, the The idea was um, to make something that sounded like a cricket. And I have, indeed, uh, fooled a number of people into actually looking for a cricket to try and stop it from doing that. I certainly know the drill. We get them here. Uh, it's adjustable there. As I said, there are three adjustments uh, for the way it chirps. Um, basically, it's a oscillator that makes the, sat the, the, the pitch of the chirp here. It's a 555 timer. They're everywhere. And there are a couple of uh, uh, other oscillators. Um, that's a CMOS chip. It's a 40106 uh, hex inverter Schmidt trigger for those that might be interested. Uh, that provide the gating for the uh, high frequency oscillator. Now I could have just done this all with CMOS. Um, I didn't. Uh, I, if memory serves, it was because I had uh, other things in mind when I made the oscillator out of this 555 timer in a staple mode. Big old fat resistors. Um, so, this part provides the, 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 the chirp frequency, meaning the, 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 the part. Um, then there are a couple of other, uh, other oscillators that provide the chopping that you're hearing. Um, one is the did -did 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 and the other one is the rate between those did -did -did -dids, meaning that, 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 that. And those feed through a, a transmission gate. That's a 4066 um, CMOS chip. And, you know, think of it as a valve, you know, this, this thing's opening and closing the valves uh, th through which the signal coming from this oscillator that makes the, the pitch you hear uh, pass. And so there's two, oscill two other oscillators going on here, or working here, that um, control gates that allow it through to the speaker. The speaker is a piezoelectric disc. Um, actually, that was, if memory serves, that was liberated from a microwave oven. It would be the part that beep, beep, beep when, you, when, the, uh, when your food's ready. That's <laughs> um, what I had handy, and it was dirt cheap because it was junk. And it's been flexed enough and, and abused in, in all the years I've had this that it barely works at all, but it still does. Um, I think the problem is that the, the ceramic part of it, that which makes it actually work, is, is cracked, fractured. Um, probably not showing any audio of it right now, but with a sounding board it, it seems to work well, pretty good. And there are 
potentiometers on here, the adjustments that allow you to fiddle around with the uh, frequencies, uh, the, the pitch of, of the chirp, the chirp rate and how often it chirps, for example. Let's see. This controls the pitch. And it's lower now than it was. Hopefully that shows up. And I can raise it. It seems fairly loud, so I'll leave that there. Then this pot controls the rate of, of the um, but one of the gates that, that allows through the frequency that this is, is controlled. That's the slowest. And if I crank this up, there are more chirps per burst. We'll set that about middle. This one controls the burst rate. Yeah, a little bit. Weekend, you can make it uh, a pretty good uh, cricket sound. A little close. Old school. It's big old pots. All this is recycled junk. It, um, cost me nothing but time to make. I don't even have a, a schematic of it anymore. It's been that long. Um, like I said I made this in 1980 or so. See the old sockets. <laughs> Resistors for standoffs. For the piezo disc. But, uh, yeah, me and my friends have had some fun with this little gadget. Um, <laughs> I don't, uh, like I said, I don't have a schematic. I'd show it if I did. I could draw one for you, but no, that's not happening. Yeah. See it.